let us now start our discussion with equation of a normal once again very similar to what we have discussed in circles what we'll first do is we'll find the slope of the tangent because that's we know a direct method to find that out and then we'll use this term slope of tangent into slope of normal is equal to minus 1 so from that we'll get the slope of normal as 1 by minus 1 by slope of the tangent remember a word of caution uh, all the formulas that you see are valid only for the parabola y square equal to 4ax so we'll be discussing only about this parabola y square equal to 4ax so the three results that you see here this result this result and this one these three are valid only for this parabola obviously the methods that you see are valid for all types of parabolas but the result that you see these three results they are valid only for y square equal to 4x if you want to you know evaluate the same uh, like if you want to know what will the parametric form of this parabola x square equal to 4ay will be then you will use the same method to get the result for this parabola but remember that this result is valid only for this parabola so let's look at point form now first of all let's uh, try to understand what a normal is at a point x1 y1 if i draw this blue tangent right so at, a, at an x1 y1 at the point x1 y1 i have drawn a tangent the line which is perpendicular to that tangent and passing through x1 y1 is your normal so this is your normal this green line is your normal this is your tangent this blue line right so my parabola is y square equal to 4ax so what i will first do is i'll find the slope of this tangent i'll i'll find mt first how do i get that i differentiate the curve after the, after i differentiate i get this right this we have already seen in the previous section uh, we get dy by dx we put x1 y1 we get the slope of tangent as this we have already seen this now slope of normal is minus 1 by slope of tangent so slope of normal uh, will finally give me this minus y1 by 2a and then I know the slope of this green line, which is minus y1 by 2a. I know a point on this. I'll use the slope point form. y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. And that's basically the point form of a normal. Coming to the parametric form now. Parametric form is, uh, again, the derivation is very similar. You will use, instead of x1, y1, what you will do is you will use the parametric form of the point, 80 square comma 280. For which is this parameter valid? Only for y square equal to 4ax. For other parabolas, the parameters will be different. Remember that, right? So, slope of the normal uh, was simply minus y1 by 2a, as you can see from here. But y1 is y1 is this 280. So I'll put minus 280 by 2a instead of y1. Right? Instead of y1, I'm putting 280 because my y1 is 280. So uh, slope of the normal is coming out to be minus t. Now, once again, I'll use the slope point form, but my y1 will be 280 and my x1 will be 80 square and my y1 by 2, my slope is minus t. So from that, I'll get this y plus xt equal to 280 plus 80 q. Now, uh, remember, very interesting thing. If I make this normal pass through a point, for instance, there is a point outside x1, y1, right? Uh, it can be anywhere like, uh, in fact, x0, y0, let it be x0, y0. So y0 plus x0 t is equal to 280 plus 80 q. As you can see, this is a cubic in t. That means at max only three normals can be drawn from a point. This is important. This point is uh, slightly important because this is, you know one of the properties also. So this is at max right at max remember it's not necessary that three novels because a cubic uh, polynomial can have uh, you know it can have one real root or uh, uh, three real roots at max three roots right at max three roots or it can have repeated roots or no roots or three roots but at max three roots right so uh, at max three normals can be drawn from a point not more than three right it doesn't necessarily mean that three normals will be drawn depends on what the roots of t are if the roots uh, of this are are like uh, you have one real and two complex roots right that's possible so you might have one real root uh, and two complex roots uh, so in that case only one normal can be drawn from that point because only one real root is there so depending on how many roots exist for this cubic in t those many normals can be drawn so you will have to first you know make this part pass through uh, x0 comma y0 and then check how many real roots exist for this cubic in t those many normals can be drawn from this point but at max 3 can be drawn but remember this is the equation uh, of the normal 
at a point uh, 80 square comma 280 right remember the difference between normal at a point and normal from a point this x not y not that i'm talking about or you know this at max three normals can be drawn from a point i'm not saying three normals can be drawn at a point at a point you can have only one normal because at a point you'll just have one tangent there will be only one line which is perpendicular to that tangent and that line will pass through this point so only one normal can be there at a point but at max three normals can be drawn from a point so you know uh, understand this difference now coming to the uh, slope form so as you can see the slope of this uh, uh, line is basically of the normal is minus t the slope is minus t so in in this equation in this equation instead of uh, t what i will do is i'll substitute minus m because my m is minus t so when i substitute minus m i'll get y minus mx equals to minus 2m minus am cube so this is the equation once again you don't need to remember this but uh, you should be able to compare this to y is equal to mx plus c and say that only if your c is equal to minus 2am minus am cube only then this line y equal to mx plus c can be a normal to the par parabola right so this part uh, and the constant should be the same this part and the constant so just just the way uh, y equal to mx plus c can be a tangent only if your c is equal to a by m y equal to mx plus c can be a normal only if your c is equal to minus 2am minus am cube remember once again all these results that you are seeing are valid valid only for this y square equal to 4ax parabola don't commit the mistake of using this result for other forms of parabolas you can't right but the method that you see for that we use for derivation you can always use those methods for deriving the similar quantities or similar expressions for the corresponding parabolas right so with this done uh, once again you see this is also a cubic in m right so if i make this pass through x not y not depending on the number of real roots that will exist for this in m those many normals could be drawn from that point x not y not to the parabola right once again remember from the point not on the point on the point on a point on the parabola only in one normal can be drawn but from a point at max you know if you pick up some point like this you might have a normal like this here you might have a normal here and you might have a normal here but not more than 3 for for some points you can just maybe draw one normal not more than one normal at a point uh, or from a point right so uh, depending that completely depends on the number of real roots this equation in m will have so this is a cubic at max it can have three that's why at max three normals can be drawn so remember the, the way i explain things for this it goes for this also because this is a cubic in t this is a cubic in cubic in m and the rest of the understanding goes the same that at max only three normals can be drawn from a point all depends on the number of roots so with this done let's move on to the next sub topic